Why am I like nervous to make this video? Wow, okay. Um. Okay. <sighs> Let's do it. Hey, what's up? Hello, everyone. Today is going to be a little bit of a different video. I'm going to be chatting, talking, having a lot of thoughts, and just spilling them out to you guys. Um, a few days ago, a video went live on my channel that I filmed a couple years ago, almost two years ago, on May 2nd, 2017. And it basically explained that I was not doing that well and that I'm an alcoholic and that I needed help. <laughs> a lot of help. I realized I needed help and I wasn't quite sure where to get it, how to get it, what to do with that information. All I knew was that I needed help. So basically, I talked to my counselors, my therapist, um, and my um, addictions counselor, and we found this really great place that uh, I thought was perfect. It dealt, dealt with addiction and trauma, and I have a lot of trauma in my life, so I thought that it would be perfect for me. So May of 2018, I applied, I sent in an application, um, reference like all that fun stuff and yeah they gave me a call they basically said to check in like every week and give them updates I was emailing them calling them every week um, and then the summer of 2018 I overdosed twice I attempted suicide and that was kind of a setback. They said that I could not join the program if I was suicidal or encouraging, encouraging, engaging in self-harm behavior at the time. So I quickly got my act together and just really did a lot of counseling and therapy. And really just, I wanted this, right? I really, really wanted this. So I basically just said, you know what, Brie? This is what you want, this is what you need, this is like your time to shine. Just do anything and everything you can, listen to these counselors, and really just focus and work on the material to try and help me stop self-harming. In the end of August, I think I got the call that said that I would be doing the program or starting the program on October 14th of 2018, so the end of last year, and I was beyond excited, but mostly terrified. Absolutely terrified. All these thoughts kept running through my mind. I was like, I'm not ready to stop drinking. I'm gonna keep drinking. You know, this is a waste of time. This is a waste of money. I'm just gonna come home and I'm gonna start drinking again because nothing's gonna change at home. And like, all these thoughts were just like, boom, right in my head, right at that time, right as soon as the phone call ended. And I just felt like I was fucked. <laughs> That's like the easiest way to put it. That's just like what went through my mind and so before I had to go to the actual treatment program they wanted me to go to detox because of the amount I was drinking every day. I was at risk for seizures, death, um, which terrified me. Um, so I hopped on a train on October 10th and I went to the hospital. I got medical clearance to go to detox. They prescribed me with medication to help with um, um, side effects of detox. What's that called? Oh my god. What's it called? <laughs> Brie! To help with withdrawal. <laughs> medication to help with withdrawal. Um, and they medicated me pretty well. I did not have a lot of side effects considering how much I was drinking. I didn't really go through much withdrawal. I pretty much only had a lot of shakes. I was pretty much like this on the daily. Um, and that was like my entire body. Um, all I wanted to do was sleep. Uh, it was so boring in there, you guys. Oh my gosh. And Oh man, it was a struggle. It was a struggle. I was only in there for five days, and on October 14th or 15th, I was on my way to the actual treatment center. 
and oh boy. Basically, it was a lot of therapy, it was a lot of counseling, it was a lot of groups, it was a lot of workbooks, it was a lot of freaking work. I went absolutely insane in there. I went through a lot of trauma, like reliving my trauma, reliving stuff that I didn't want to relive and didn't realize that I was going to relive. I got barely any sleep. I think in my journal it says like every day I got like an average of probably five hours of sleep. No, probably four, three or four, four hours of sleep, which was like, it's absolutely insane to me. I think there was like two nights where I didn't sleep at all. Um, oh man, I took naps every day. I had like my set nap period. I'm like, this person's gonna wake me up. Please, I love you. Thank you. God bless. <laughs> It was insane. I just, I can't believe I went there. I can't believe I did it. I can't believe I graduated with honors. And I will insert a picture right here. But to focus on me right now, January 6th, 7th, 87th, I don't know what day it is. But basically, um, I'm probably gonna upload this today, so today, whatever the date says down there, um, today, how am I doing? Um, you know, I, I'm content. I am 90 days sober. I never thought in a million years I would say that. Um, and for once in my life, I really... I'm really proud of myself. Yeah. I'm really, really, really proud of myself. For what I've done, for what I accomplished, for what I continue to do on a daily basis because it's not fucking easy whatsoever. <laughs> at all. <laughs> I think about drinking every single day. I want to drink every single day and I'm you know, there's been uh, too many situations where I've been around alcohol and um, I still haven't drank. I didn't even, they're like, hey, do you want a beer? Do you want a glass of wine? Do you want this? And I'm like, no, no thanks. You know, it's just as simple as that. It's not simple, it's not easy, but it's just, no thanks. And they don't ask questions, they're like, okay. And that's, wow, I, I'm, I'm just speechless. I never thought in a million years that I would make it to this point in my life. Um, oh my gosh. If you would have asked me, like, a, you, what was it, like, six months ago when I was passed out on this bed with, like, one eye open and my mom couldn't wake me up? Like, oh my god, like, I couldn't even, I can't even think about that I can't even like believe that I've e I even got that bad I can't believe that oh and I know that I know that my sobriety and stuff I know that it's hard sometimes um, I shouldn't be tracking the days and stuff all the time but it just it really is uh, a good thing to look back on and just be like I've made it this far but then I know that if I do relapse, then it's like, oh, I made it this far and I fucked up. But I know that relapse is a thing and I know that I could possibly relapse at any point in my life at any time. And it's, it's a thing. I'm an alcoholic. I will always be an alcoholic. But yeah, um, I started going to AA meetings. I'm struggling to get to them a little bit, but I'm trying my best to persevere and get through it and go. Um, but yeah, I'm just focusing on good people in my life for now. My good family, I say good family because a lot of my family is not good people. Um, <laughs> the good family in my life the true friends that have stuck behind me through all of this and, you know, um, who I would call in the treatment center and cry to on a daily basis and just be like, I want to go home and they would be behind me and they would support me and to say, 
that it's okay, you can get through it. You know? Those kind of friends, you need to, they need to, you need to keep them around, and they're here. And it's crazy that they're still here after all these years. And I'm just so blessed and so thankful to have them, so thank you, Kat and Tim. But yeah, I'm getting emotional, and I didn't expect this at all. I just truly am really proud of myself. I am 90 days sober. I am clean from self-harm for almost that long. I think a little bit longer, actually. Um, for, probably like 115 days. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm doing really well. I, I'm an alcoholic. I was will be an alcoholic. I know that. I know that rehab, rehab, relapse is a possibility. But I try not to think about that too much. Um, yeah. I'm happy and content with life right now. You know, I still have my ups and downs, a lot of downs, but, um, yeah, I'm just really proud of myself. And I can't stop smiling. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope I didn't scare you too much with that video, and I hope you realize that it's from May 2nd of 2017. It's not recent whatsoever. I had blue hair in that video. I had white long nails, and I have crusty little picked at gross fingernails now um but yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed i hope this gave you some inspiration to just keep going and yeah stay strong truly just stay strong i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video i hope you guys are enjoying all these uploads i'm really enjoying filming actually for once and i'm not drunk doing it so it's like amazing to me it's like so good so yeah i love you guys stay strong Mwah!